un certain mot arabe. Il se dit, il faut aller le premier à tout combat. Oui, j'en sais Il ne lui sort pas. Il va se dire, oh, il est là, c'est moi qui l'aime. This is not done, that is not done. Everything. No one behold. The Lord said to the same man, so, you know that grace cannot be not done. And that word, I was not put in a capacity before. That word triggered my spirit. And I'm not that sure. He says, Create peace to the people. Then, all that message is the first one. He says, Create peace to the people. That grace cannot be mocked. You know, by the grace of God, you know that I have taught so much of grace years before now. I have told you before that Jesus is the epitome of grace. Because he is the origin, he is the originator. I have taught him every time I was years back. That Jesus is the originator, the origin. So when the Lord said to me, so my soul, I want to pray again and again that grace cannot be loved. That you know what? The future that I visualized, it was the issue of Jesus. I said, Lord, 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 you have made this clear to me. You know, because the love that became a happy, you know, because of love that I can't do it, because of love that I can't do that, you are not able to stand it. So when the Lord said, I said, Christ cannot be loved, but all I see was Jesus. It's like God said to me, Jesus cannot be loved, not that. Hallelujah. Amen. So that was the clear revelation. I said, no. I don't know if I'm just for my thoughts. I said, Jesus cannot be locked down. Is it possible for Jesus to be locked down? Ask yourself that question again, wherever you are. The invitation you are. So I want to talk about this, and this time I'm not going to be just in COVID-19 nation. That in every area of your life, that after the thing of this year, Jesus, the shepherd of my soul. So what we need to see is Jesus is the shepherd of your soul. There's nothing that can limit you. There is nothing that can knock you down. There is nothing that can stop you from fulfilling. So without the relation, grace cannot be locked down. I started communicating it right from the house. The government to help us, to the people, to every video, online. Grace cannot be locked down. And before you do it, there were one testimonies of one testimonies. Hallelujah. I think let me most say of you all. We need to know pieces of testimonies that go forth during wars that time of life. So God has made this statement of shock. I made this statement of difference. Amazing job. This will testimonies will come down. And above all, I'm making sustenance. Everyone was worth sustain. They were not given permission. One of the people that I used to look at me, he said, I can't begin to make you so rough. He said, but when that Lord came and hit him, he was going to be locked down. He said, in peace of each, he was not having abundance, and he was not distributing to people. Because 
And we decided to capture this problem in the long and he was not worse. This is the good thing to be done. See inside the world. So I, I found out that there's no more reason that I don't do that matter. It's in the inspiration you get from a group. Don't mess with the system. So it's the inspiration you get from a group. So that's. So let you go apply such to every situation of your life. You must say, Minister. I will pass the pastor for the next day. So it's not a fact that you are. I'm in the village, I'm in the corner, I'm in the. I'm in one thing that I'm in the city. It's about your understanding of the world that is coming from us. It's, it's all about how you catch the revelation of what God is saying. So it's not even about your foundation. It's not about your public background. It's not about the country you find yourself. God has some say to you. They say, God cost them, you know, they don't in energy. I do ask questions as a question of wisdom. I said, you know, you make choice of your parents. You don't want to get the least of your parents. I've never seen an answer. Before you were born, you choose the parents. So if you know the word of God, he says that everything he did is perfect, is good. If you want to know that his thoughts for setting his thoughts of evil, but to bring you from the state of end. So there is a reason he allowed you to come from that foundation. That's why we pass so on the road. From a whole very good moment of endorsements. Because I know God did not make mistakes, but it will come from that village. Which evil God Almighty himself said to me in 1999, when he said to the Lord that he did, even God said, My son, your village is strong. So if God had that he's strong, he will die looking for him. Amen. Say, my son, your dead, your image is strong. He said, before the liberation of the need to pray and fast for seven days, the people don't have seven days. Raise them as king. And from there, I'm a shining light of the whole world. So it is not about what your foundation is. It's about how you cheat to God. Or the bad lady. So can you say grace cannot be locked down? Grace cannot be locked down. Amen. So just as I have said in the introduction that Jesus is the epitome of grace. He is the totality of grace. Because the grace you are talking about it is not just the grace of Papo. The grace of your sins are forgiven and grace. We are talking about grace that makes you walk with God, walk like God, do the things God wants you to do. Grace that calls you walk in obedience, manifests what God wants you to manifest. We the whole problem that somebody said, I can do all things through Christ that will strengthen me. I tell you what I say, I am what I am by what? The grace of God. So if you see people like that in the place, a message where they still keep teaching things, grace. They don't be talking of grace and living in sin to run from there. Well, the God knows, and, and, and God knows that what I'm a sinner, and so in the first one that I'm holy, it is, it is just the grace of God. So, grace to be found and writing in sin, in that world, you must think about it. Grace must 
Senhor da bênção e do domínio por você. So when so we pronounce we say grace shall not be loved and I picked your Jesus. And we will really establish that so that we will say if you look at John 1, John chapter 1, from verse 14. He said, and the world was made flesh and went among us, and we beheld his glory, and the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and words and truth. Who is full of grace and truth? Jesus. Was the word that was this flesh. I said so because I this yesterday. So I'm just a truth. You look at verse 16. And of his fullness have we all received. And of his fullness have all we received. And grace for grace. So is Jesus to have the fullness of grace? So we offer his fullness that is where we receive from. Of his fullness that we receive grace upon grace. So full of grace. Look at 17. He says, For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. So if your grace is still held to the line, know that that is what I give without coming to Jesus. Grace. For the Lord of giving two ladies, the grace and truth came to the Lord Jesus Christ. And there's what grace teaches, what grace communicates. There's a dimension of life that you begin to live where grace puts over your life. Titus made this emphasis in Titus 2 11. Hallelujah. He said that the grace of God that bring that salvation has appeared to everyone. Made an emphasis. So that this is the foundation of the bedroom. The grace of God that bring that salvation. We get medicine, Ephesians 2, 5. We are dead, we are dead. We don't have ourselves. But His grace brought salvation so, to us. So now that we are saved, now that we are His children, because we are not on the dimension of repentance now, because that is the origin, grace makes us saved. But the whole of the grace that causes you to do his will, the grace that teaches you what God expects. So look at the next verse, verse, verse 12. He said, Teaching us, why complicated what grace teaches? Teaching us that the name of God and what is us. You see what grace teaches? When the grace of God is upon your life, in Teaches you, it complicates you to deny yourself from a worldly world lost. To deny yourself from what? Ungodliness. Ungodly loss. The grace will complicate you to be sober. As we have said, we are sober. He said, we are vigilant and be sober. Watch it dear not to fall, the devil and adversary. Is just what like a running lion looking for who they want to devour. You are not careless. You are careful with what you do. So those are what grace will do in your life. It makes you sober. The more that are reacting, you will not react. When all power are rejecting your reports, when all power are confused with your thoughts, when all power are frustrated with your thoughts, Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Amen.
she can be very started. So we are kind of 18 years now, so that's where we are 14 years in the He said, Daddy, I want to be like you. I said, which area? He said, because I see that you don't have any problem. Since I know you, you have no problem. How do you know? Because you have seen me for about 14 years. All I see is what the meaning of smiling face, testimonies. He was here from the very first one that just happened. The very first year just happened. And a lot of problems or challenges have come. I don't know what they call them, but they challenges. A lot of challenges. The world of people who are in a world in that time, they will be dead with a people who are smart. Amen. With the cause. I know that whatsoever comes no you with fire. I know that whatsoever challenges that come is only to step me so behind that view. These are what grace can do. It makes you sober, vigilant. See the best way. He said, righteously. See what the best teaches. So if anyone teaches a grace that will make you a believer in sin, that is not the one for the Lord Jesus Christ. We bless you, we need you to live a righteous life. Without compromise. No stress, no struggle. Righteous life. You see that verse 12? After righteous life, the next year, I'm in a minute in this. And the Lord God you. You are the Lord Godly. It's obvious. Remember that God is in you. God is in you. In every of your attitude, in every of your action, in every of your reaction, they will see God in it. Godly. And Godly in this present world age. He just said, in this present world. This present world. That is what we teach us. That's what grace will make possible in your life. So, now, when grace is teaching you and you are falling in this dimension, you begin to see fulfillment of things like Romans 6 14, when it says, See, we no longer have dominion over you because you are no longer under the law, you are now under grace. Romans 6, 14. The sin shall not have the dominion of one. So you are not living like Christ. You are living in Christ Jesus. You ask yourself before you do things, will Christ do this? I don't. So when the Lord said to me, myself, grace cannot be done now. All I saw was Jesus that would be more than more than And that is what dwells in you. That he brought my spirit to a higher frequency. And we became more than two dogs from far and near to the will of his name. Hallelujah. In this dimension, all we need to see without the grace and glory grace and glory. Because when that law came, I started seeing more grace, I started seeing more glory. 
I pray for you to be wherever you are here now. That nothing limits you any longer. Can I hear that amen? Nothing limits you any longer. Every challenge will become a stepping stone to your life. Some of you have heard this song before. So the Lord is a soul of the sheep. Let's go there. He will not keep anything good. For the Lord is a soul of the sheep. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good things will be withheld from them that walk uprightly. Hallelujah. What do you say? We give, we give grace and what? And glory. And when there's grace and glory, we say, what do you be heard from them that walk the other So you are stepping into this world today. So that every good thing will be located in you. Can I hear a lot of people? You say, for who? For who? What we call him more of the right here? So stop talking about who is bewitching you. Stop talking about who is manipulating you. Start doing what God will want you to work to do. You begin to manifest grace and glory. Even those who knew you before will say, ah, what have you called for this life? Your testimony, you alone cannot share it. All that we help you. If you are that person, can you shout in my happy day? Yes, so grace and glory. So God is very complicated. Let's look at it from verse 9. This is how it is for. He said, Behold, all God are sheep. And look upon the face of their anointed. It's not just everyone. But the world that we have of God is upon. Because the world that God has anointed, because the Spirit of God is in you, you are God's chosen. You understand? For the day is the coach. Is better than a thousand. And I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in days of wickedness. So you better know what you are doing now. To be in God's presence. You should know. Why you are here and what you are doing? Because you are here to be rekindled. And by the grace that will enter your life, the divine spirit will be You are going to partake. Those who talk they have left you behind. So you should know what you are doing. He said, What? A day in the house of God. Far greater than thousands of years of which space will be given. So when you see all that, be no cottage. You see when you play so, and you are thinking they are going far. You should know the end will turn. I think the end is going too far. In the midst of the journey, we begin to see the different. No doubt that God has a grace. So, take your place. So, as we are here to be groomed, to be empowered, open up your lives. I don't know if your thoughts have been meditated, have meditated upon the vicious statements. And the vision statements. Because the vision, the, the, the vision of the powerful is the great creation. Revive them and 
and he told them to go to the I will see this. The Lord gave me a selected inspired mission statement because that is the path that will help you actualize the vision. But mission is all about how did they do to actualize the set goal, to actualize the set vision. First, what's there? So a power of not kind. Open the eyes of their own hearts. Grow them to maturity. Fulfill the original intent. So you are here to be a power. You are here to be groomed and become mature. And we are here so that we are in power. We are here so that the eyes of the world are starting to be opened. Because when your eyes of the world are starting to be opened, the things that you use to prevent you cannot be prevent you. Can I hear that anymore? Whether you have to do it to your heart, whether you have to do it to your finance, but I think I don't know about my body. Anything that you can do. No, your world is starting to be opened. When you lay the good God first, when you lay the good God He wants you to do, because if you do a confession like this, you know about two, three weeks ago, I said to them over here, the Lord said to me, said, my son, they come into the convention, it's my life, don't die. I've made a few arguments, we will hear the song that it is not sacred. But he, he reacted on it on my ear about two weeks ago. He said, the conviction we come with it, the only pastor of power flow is my agenda. She said, anyone that takes it after an agenda will in fact be a witness that it is my agenda. I don't know if you can ever respond to every individual. Respond to every home. Respond to every family. We have to go testing on this. Then the convention can be seen. But the law will not in this convention again. That it is his agenda. So when you don't understand it, what do you do? The eyes of the Lord are standing on the old point. When we say grace cannot be locked down. It has to do with how you want to stand, how to follow this goal. What he wants you to do, you go out and sacrifice it. With, 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 with your strength, with your time. You go out and sacrifice it with your finance to see that God's agenda is well accomplished. You have to have witness. Let me guess what? Let me not say it. Go ahead and look it now. Yeah, what I did is say, she begin to gather the people in part of the world. And in that country, we begin to cook for them. You can recall the thing that was in the time that we should move the food. I said, no, it's not for second. Because we were looking at the challenge of how to sustain this. We are also doing this. But I said, let me go and pray. What I say, when I pray, as I think that I'm not going to the Lord will say, My son, it is my agenda. Begin to gather the people, cook for them. He said, Oh, dear, when the crowd is not out of your control, I will see one of you also. That's why we the midst of all of the picture. In the country now, there's no second thought of whether we should go or not do any business. But you know what we did, the Lord provided it and we did Because it is what I thought. As the committee were operated, people were already saying, this is what the Lord made in my heart to give the words conversion. So, grace. Hallelujah. So, behold. Why do they 
Jerusalem, Psalm 84, verse 11. He says, For the Lord God is the son of the chief. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will be withheld from them that want God and right. That's what he was saying. He said, Oh Lord of hosts, blessed is the one that prospers in thee. Amen. So, you want grace to be working for you. Always trust in God. Always trust in God. You don't think what power is happening. Don't have reason to change God's agenda. Hallelujah.
But who is used to be what? Am I talking to somebody? Don't speak your language. Don't confess what they want you to know to confess. Ask God what to know to do. The grace is sufficient for you. Grace cannot be what not done. It is your work. What we design is structure. If you need a better situation, if your spirit is able, if you are a child of God, what is it going into that spirit? The Lord will give you the same world. Because I'm not talking to those who are who are still waiting to see. It's time for that. I'm talking for you know you are a child of God. You trust in God. What are the treasures? In this Psalm 84, he said, Oh Lord of us, blessed is the man that trusts in what he did. So you must be blessed. Every orchestrated plan for the pit of hell, it doesn't matter who the youth around you. We do not succeed in your life, we do not succeed in your business, we do not succeed in your problem. Open up your heart and let God take over. Because after this camp meeting is a new beginning for you. It's a prophecy now. But it is also only an established covenant by God. I do forget it. That I will run all this conversion. On Sunday first of August, we are already in the new uh, in the new year. We are already in the anniversary year of our flow. In like ten years, we begin a new beginning. The earth moves off the year. A new thing God will start. So we see this world. So this is what God called us to And he said, I can do all this to press forward that should be given. Amen. Things that will be to in a bit good grace. When you walk, when you still live in sin. Because Jesus cannot be there. When you don't learn to walk in the truth, you need to be inhibited. When there's a black life, because remember, let's have two verses we say, God resists the proud, and he gives well grace to the holy. So that's someone who draws grace. So no matter what God is blessing you with, be what? Be what? As a minister, no matter what God is using you to do, grace is all about him. Now for everything you see happening, I give God the glory. So when you are able to work in this, you will find out that grace will be increasing, grace will be abounding. Grace and peace will be what we want. Think of the hidden grace when you refuse to grow in knowledge. In 2 Peter 1 2, he said, Grace and peace be multiplied unto you. That's why give yourself to learn. Give yourself to knowledge. Get you need to learn, or learn what you have learned before. God will work well to what you know that is not being your fellow. Learn the beauty that will work with your fellow. You see, grace will be overflowing. Hallelujah. Yeah. Above 
clergy, to the, to the baptism of the Holy Spirit. He grew in the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Let the Holy Ghost take over your life. Can you say Holy Ghost? Take over my life. In fact, if you have not been baptized with the Holy Ghost before, this community will not pass you by. And then we will not drop you. Direction. In this 